Hi everyone, we are Team Netizen, and today we are going to share with you our project on building an automatic puzzle solver. Jigsaw Solver is among one of the most common household games, yet also one of the most classic problems that researchers have crazed about. Past approaches have ranged from greedy methods such as minimum spending tree to probabilistic methods like generalized genetic algorithm. Our project is a useful implementation of permutation variance. That is, our model is able to restore the same image for any permutation order of the same puzzle. This makes our project a potential, a potential solution to many other realistic applications, such as recovering damaged documents or stitching satellite images into a giant map, where greater business values could be achieved. Past researchers have confronted with many challenges. Although greedy in general approaches have been approved to have very high accuracy, they are usually very slow in test time. For approaches using neural network, we found out that accuracy are likely to experience a drop when we increase the number of puzzle size. When the number of pieces increase, the probability of choosing the correct permutation order is also decreasing. In our project, we focused on a state-of-art approach using computer vision models where test time is greatly reduced. The task of our project is to train a neural network to correctly recognize and restore the order of a segmented image. The picture on the top are example of our input that are shuffled jigsaw puzzles and the picture on the bottom are the original picture. The data set we use for this project is called CIFA which contains 60,032 times 32 color images in total. We divide the data sets follow 40,000 for training, 10,000 for validation, and 10,000 for testing. So we begin talking about our approach. In the data pre-processing part, we perform augmentation techniques. And for each image, we randomly permute the M by M pieces to get a new image and feed into the model. We encode labels as permutation vectors and their corresponding assignment matrices. This is the overall structure. We feed each piece into a CNN to get feature vectors. Then these feature vectors are concatenated to be passed into a linear layer to get the outputs. This is our CNN structure, which holds two comp layers followed by a max polling layer. And we chose to, the number of layers and channels to be relatively small. The number of parameters of this network for CIFAR images is 500K. Once we get outputs from the final layer, we need to decode the output. As mentioned, the permutation matrix has only zero or one as entries. This allows us to use sigmoid as activation of the output layer, which guarantees our outputs lie between 0 and 1. Because of this, we also chose binary cross entropy loss. But how do we guarantee that each row and column sums up to 1? We use a Syncorn iterator. So this works by alternatively normalizing rows and columns of a matrix until they converge. Here's an example of assignment matrix before and after the Syncorn iterations. You can see the value of the assigned entry after the iterations is much closer to one compared to the value before. We evaluate the model accuracy on CIFAR and to correctly predict image, we require the model to correctly predict all true positions. The best result we get is 88% accuracy. There's an interesting observation. We tried to normalize images, which results in faster convergence but suboptimal results. We think this is because the information of relative color differences between images is very important to prediction of positions. The data set we chose is CFR 100. In the future, we might use data sets with larger images or different types of images like human faces. Also, we have only experimented with two by two and three by three puzzles in our work. The difficulty of the puzzle increases exponentially as the number of pieces increase. So this will also be one of our future predictions as well. Thank you.